Okay, another great function of the Panther is the ability to check the voltage and the time at any point. All you need to do is hold down the start button for 10 seconds when you're in your normal game mode, and there it pops up. I see it, 12.51 volts of battery. And the time is uh, 2.13, and the version number of the software currently. To get out of this mode back to the regular track mode, just press and release the start button again. So you don't need a meter to check your battery? Not anymore. Not anymore, and your location can do it for you with a simple phone call asking the bartender or waitress to go over and do that. Before a league night, you can find out what your voltages are, and the clock is set to the correct time. Excellent. Let's show everybody how easy it is to program. All right. What you're showing that right now? Can they see in there? Yes, they can. Okay. To get into the program, what you're going to do is reach in, and this button is labeled S2. It's the third button in a row closest to your connector for all your, your coin door buttons. Press and hold this button down. And your display will count backwards for you. Five, four, three, two, one. And then say program group time hyphen day. And you can just shut the door at that point. Yes, sir, you sure can. Done with the inside of the table. Everything else, again, is done through these three buttons. This button gets you into the program group and increases the value of any option you're at. This button gets you to the next program group or the next option in that group. This button is used as a decrease button. It will decrease the value of whatever you're in. And if you're in your program group options, it will take you through different groups. Again, to exit, use the select button to go to program exit. Once that's on the screen, use the start button to engage that program group. Table. Two, and hold it for five seconds. Once it's in the correct programming mode, it will actually tell you program group. And the first option is time and day. Now I go ahead and close the door now, it makes it a little easier. And you're going to use the three buttons on the coin door to make your changes. I'll show you how easy it is to change the date and time. To get into any program group, you'd hit the start button. And the first thing that comes up is hours. That's that, 14 hours, so that's military time, correct? That is military time. And just checking my phone here, and that is correct. Right now it is 14. If you want to change it, you'd use the start button to go up. Or this B pull button to go down. To go to the next option, press the select button. It tells you the minutes, and it's a little slow. It should be 17. So I'm going to hit the start button until the display reads 17 minutes. Hit the select button again to go to the next option, which is the day. Now you have a small battery that's on the board itself, so in the event of a catastrophic battery failure, you still maintain your clock settings, correct? That is correct. So again, to make a change for the day of the week, just use the start button to go to Friday. Oh, we don't want to change it from Friday. because nope. Friday <laughs> is the best day of the week. Hit the select button again. This will take the next program option, which whenever you set any program group, the system will always take you back to exit, thinking that that's the only thing you're probably going to want to change. I don't. I want to go ahead and change the programming for the whole week. So what I'm going to do is go to Sunday. Sunday has a unique feature. Whatever you program Sunday for, you can copy that over through the entire week, or for Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday settings, or just Sunday by itself. That seems like it would save a lot of programming time and hassle. It will, especially if you use the Sunday feature for whenever you have this multiple days of the same programming. The easiest thing to do is set Sunday up, and then go back to the individual days you want to have something separate. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Go to start to get into it. It's a very yes-no type situation. Do you want rack play? And use the start button to make your change, on or off. Anytime you select off, it will jump to the next program level. I'm going to go ahead and rack play on. Do you want to charge $2 a game, more or less? If you want less, again use the speed pull button to go down in price. Use the start button to go up in price. Okay. We've already set our, our normal game costs. The next option is to be credit level one. And what this means is when they put more money, a certain amount that you set into the table, they can get a bonus. Bonus amount of racks, for example. So if you want this on, you leave it on. Again, you can turn it off by pressing the start button. Our base amount is $5. We would like them to put more $5 bills into the pool table. Easier to count, and the longer they're going to be at the table. So they get a bargain, and whoever's collecting gets to take bigger bills in. Everybody wins. All right, so 
selected that amount, and again, you can change that amount by using the Start button or the Speed Pool button to go to the next option, which is going to be the number of games you issue for that $5 bill. Now, if you notice, we're charging $2 a game, but we want to give them five games for $5, so it's half price at this, at this scenario. Again, if you want to change the amount of games, Start button goes up, Speed Pool goes down. The next option is a second credit level. You have a total of three credit levels. Um, we base it as five, ten, and twenty dollars. If you want to turn it on, turn it on. If you want to leave it off in this scenario, we're going to leave it off to jump to the next option. Which Factory settings time play off. We found in most locations that it's easier for the players to have time play off. All they do basically with time play off is put their money in and push the start button and get their balls. But some locations like to charge by the hour for the, having the ball. So this way they get the versatility of using the Panther ZDX to vend by the half hour or by the hour. Correct. Uh, and actually, any amount of minutes you can change, and any amount of dollar amount you can change. So I'm going to show you what that feature looks like by turning it on. Press the Start button to change it, and then press the Select button to go to the amount of cost. What, this is what you're going to charge for them to play by time. Um, again, we set five dollars, and I'm going to go to the next option, which is minutes. Now I can change how many minutes in five-minute increments up to two hours, or down to as low as five minutes for that five-dollar amount. Now that dollar it's a little pricey, isn't it? It is a little pricey, but if you have really good players, they'll appreciate that because they can clear a table off in about two minutes practicing the balls where in two minutes at this rate you get 15 games for five dollars for 15 games is a pretty good deal uh, this again though is only mainly used in places where you have billiard halls where they already have time play select your time hit your select button to go to the next option and in time play we have bonus pricing as well if you turn bonus pricing on you can set the dollar amount that you want to charge to get a bonus price. And because we have the default set at $5, we have the bonus setting at 10 You can change this amount as well, going up or going down, using the Start and Speed Pool button. Next option is how many bonus minutes. Now, this is not an additional to the 30 minutes you set before. This is total minutes vended. So they'd get 70 minutes for the $10 rather than the 30 minutes for the $5. Yeah, so basically you're giving them a 10 minute bonus for putting in $10. Very generous of you. And you can change that amount again using the start button to go up in five minute increments. Even more generous of you. Or going down, being less generous <laughs> in five minute increments. So you have complete options there using the start button and speed pull button. The select button will get you the next level.